Hi guys, welcome back to Debbie's Collectible Dolls. I'm trying holding my camera in a different way because I just recorded the video and yet again, you couldn't hear me. I don't know, I, 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 I'm at a loss. I would have put this iPad on a stand but I've got three babies and I can't put it on a stand and fit three babies on the screen. It's just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna have to just start doing one baby for theme Thursday, which I don't wanna do because I like bringing a few babies on so you get to see a some of the collection. But I, I, mm, I'm holding it at the bottom this time and we'll see when I listen back if I'm actually going to upload this video or I'm going to have to try again. I need to get in the shower. Like, this is just getting ridiculous and spending more time on the video than stuff that needs to be done. Anyway, I'm here to do Theme Thursday on a Friday. I did so well. Two Theme Thursdays on a Thursday and now we're back on a Friday. The world is right again. Anyway, the theme. We have Charlie here and he's doing the bug part of the theme because it's bugs and flowers this week we're going all spring so he's wearing this gray onesie and uh, there's a bug can you spot the bug the bug is a caterpillar and he's spelling out the first letter of cute see the word cute and it's spelled out with different animals got see this is a problem with holding the ipad at the bottom it wobbles but we've got the caterpillar for the C and then there's a unicorn for the U and a tiger for the tiny and for the T and then a elephant for the E at the end. So caterpillar. And then on the trousers, which are white and covered with lots of different colour animals spelling out the alphabet. Can you see? There's an elephant for the E and there's an A, which is an alligator and an owl up there. But uh, there is also... A snail for the S. So we've got snails and we've got caterpillars for the theme with Charlie here. And next to Charlie, we have my partial silicone, which is Melody, Melody Piper. And uh, she has both themes, actually. She's got bugs and flowers, but the main part of her outfit is neither. But I had to put her in this because it's adorable and I just bought it and I wanted to see how it looked. So... <laughs> Sorry, um, it's a knitted, would you call it a romper, coverall? I don't know, it depends where you're from. But it's cream knit and it's footless. As you can see, she's wearing socks. Buttons all the way up the front and there's a pocket on each hip. And it's an animal of some sort, whether it be a bunny or a bear. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell with these baby clothes. But the same animal is up on the hood. There's a nose, eyes, whiskers and ears stitched on up there. And she just looks super cute in it, honestly. She looks cute in everything, but there she is, if you can see her properly. And uh, on the front of the onesie, which she's wearing underneath because I've left some of the buttons open, it says, be happy. It's a pink onesie. And in white, it says, be happy. And there's a bumblebee and three little flowers there. So she's got flowers and bugs. And I love bumblebees. So there is she. And then over here... We've got this little cutie pie doing flowers. This is Miriam and uh, she's my Ava sculpt. And she came with this outfit. This was um, from her artist. So it's a dress and it's pink. And on it, there are many, many, many flowers. Many pink flowers, yellow flowers, white, and there is some navy blue. And then there are kind of, what would you call them? The leaves, fauna of some sort. There's little lace trim around the middle in pink lace and the sleeves. Oh, my neighbor's dog's barking. There are sleeves and I don't know what you would call these style of sleeves, but if they were trousers, they'd be bell bottoms, kind of flared sleeves. And then underneath, there are tights and they kind of a cable knit pattern on them. And then she's got these little shorts or nappy cover which are a darker grey than the ties and she just looks really cute and then on her head I've put in one of the um, magnetic butterflies because I thought it added to the spring theme and the flowers and such so there she is looking super adorable she's just a cute pie and che, you're just cute um and so that's it um I don't think I've got anything to talk about at the minute nothing really Apparently my neighbour's got a lot to talk about with her dogs. Hmm. Um, 
No, I'm just concerned that you might not be able to hear me. Hopefully I've cracked it by holding it at the bottom and I'm not covering any microphones because I'm getting a bit fed up about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what I've got on the blanket. I don't think there's any flowers on the blankets. It's, um, it's a bit, oh, put it on the wrong way up. I keep doing this, the, bl the blanket's the wrong side up, so it looks faded, but it's not. It's just that the pattern's actually on the other side. There's some leaves on it, but that's the closest we've got, I think. Is it though? Hmm. Oh, look, a hedgehog. There you go, Suzanne, a hedgehog for you. I hope you're starting to feel better. We're really missing Suzanne. She's not feeling well at all. Um, get well soon, Suzanne. But uh, yeah, that seems to be everything. It's a short video because I'm, I need to see if I've, sorted this microphone business out so i'll tell you i'll I'll tell you i'll tell you i'll tell you to take care and uh, have a fantastic weekend and i will see you all soon bye bye guys